Tracy. I'm from an accounting firm called Cloud Counting. We're based in Brisbane, Queensland, and we specialize in e-commerce clients only. So we support you with bookkeeping, training, and zero um, support, and also tax returns all around the e-commerce space. And today I'd like to take you through a short video to explain to you how to connect your Shopify file with your zero file. And there are lots of options on offer. In fact, if you go to the Shopify add-on space and you type in zero, you can see that you've got lots and lots of choices and it can be quite overwhelming to understand how this is going to work. So the two that, that we, we tend to like the most is either integrating using a zero integration by bold or A2X. And generally speaking, for small Shopify stores, i.e. five to 10 orders or less a day. This bold integration could work pretty well for you. Uh, for larger e-commerce environments where you've got more than 10 orders a day, we would recommend you consider this A2X. And just while I'm on the topic, um, we would not recommend integrating between your inventory product and Zero, but you can absolutely integrate between Shopify and your inventory product. So we'll do some separate videos on that. Right, so back over here, we've got a Shopify store. It's called Tracy's Terrific Toys. It's a small environment. It's taking less than 10 orders a day. You can see um, if we go down here to uh, our analytics and then our reports, and we take a look at our finance reports, how things are paid for. So you can see quickly here for uh, the month to date, we've received things using three different payment methods. One is Afterpay, one is credit card, and one is PayPal. And that's a really great starting point to understand how things are going to come into zero is understand the payment gateways that, that your Shopify store is accepting, because ultimately we have to then group things in these same groupings so we can do the match down on the zero side. Now on the zero side, we've got uh, Tracy's Terrific Toys zero file, and we have two bank accounts here, our business bank account and our PayPal account. And our afterpay and our credit card get deposited into our business bank account, and our PayPal gets deposited into our PayPal account. So back over here in Shopify, if we take a look at this integration, and we go down here to apps, and we open up this zero, uh, widget that we've installed for the Bold app. And keep in mind, this Bold app is free for less than 30 orders a month. And over that level, they start to charge you. So if you set up a free plan and you go over the 30 orders a month, the sync will stop and you'll get an email from Bold saying, pay me some money. And then you can make a call as to whether you want to continue using this type of integration or not. So you can see that you can um, enable your auto export, and that means uh, each day, just after midnight, all of your sales from the current day will get synced into zero. So over here on the zero side, you can find those sales by going to sales overview. And don't get thrown off by the fact they're not sitting in any of these buckets because they come over from the Shopify app as paid. So to see them, you need to click here on paid. And then you'll see these top five items here. Uh, they're pretty distinct. They come over with a really unique reference number. And if you click into any of them, I really like that Shopify actually in the um, reference um, will say somewhere it says here how it's paid for. I'll show you that when we do the matching. But you can see here this was paid for by using PayPal, for example. All right. So we've got those five invoices in our zero file, but right now they're they're unreconciled. And what I mean by that is they're not matched to anything that's happened in the bank. So if we, we click on these three dots and we go to reconciliation report and we look at our unreconciled receipts, our outstanding receipts, you'll see the three uh, payments that Shopify has synced overnight are sitting there as what's called outstanding. They've yet to be matched to anything that's really happened in the bank. And before you ever finish a month end or a year end, you'd need to make sure that uh, you have nothing in outstanding payments or receipts. And conversely, if we go down to our PayPal account, you'll see we've got a, two outstanding receipts here too. Again, this has been synced over from Shopify. So to match those down, what we do is we go to our dash dashboard and we click on our, our reconcile X items in our zero file and we find some deposits that have been made to us by our payment gateways. I'm just going to go right to the end because that's where I put the examples to show you. So you can see here at the end, we've had two deposits, one from Afterpay and one from credit card. 
And uh, these will come in most days. Um, after pay tends to be, you know, next day, two days after. Credit card is generally same day or next day. And you can see here, interestingly, we have a green match on the credit card, but we have no green match on the, the after pay. And this will come down very much to two things. One is, is does your payment provider deposit net of fees? Because if they do, you'll never get a green match in zero because zero doesn't understand the um, the amount of the merchant fee that was deducted. And secondly, most of your payment gateways will deposit uh, in batch, i.e. if you have more than one sale a day, they will deposit one figure into your bank account, not individual figures that will match up with each of your sales. So you'll see here with this afterpay, we have no green match, but that doesn't mean that we don't have to go a, a step underneath and, and, and find the, the detail that we need to match. So if you click here on match, and you can see here the reference actually is prefaced by afterpay or credit card and so on. And often if you've got all sorts of matching to do, you can, you can go a, a one step further and just filter on the payment method you're looking for. And you can see here that we have two afterpay sales that were made on the 3rd of August, and they do relate to this payment here. Now this is this is obviously example dot and you would expect if your sales were the 3rd of August for afterpay, your deposit would probably be the 4th or the 5th of August. So I'll take those two sales on and um, you, you'll see I don't get the OK button or the green match yet. And the reason for that is we have a difference between what was deposited and what was uh, the, the sales total to. And the difference will relate most commonly to your merchant fee. And you have to deal with that in Zero by explaining to Zero what to do. So if you click here on adjustments and bank fee, and then we might say, for example, after pay. And we might say merchant fee, and we might put that off to say a bank fees account, or you may have a special uh, merchant fee account to use, tax rate GST free, although I believe um, for after pay, you do pay GST on those merchant fees, and $4. And when you do that and you scroll down again, you'll see we now have a green match because you've explained to zero what to do with the difference here. And you can click on OK. And before we go any further, if we go back to our bank reconciliation report, you can see now that we've dealt with two of those outstanding items and we now just have the one left in the outstanding receipt side of things. So coming back to our dashboard, let's match down our credit card now. So if we click on reconcile 29 items and we go to the last page, you'll see that we also had a credit card deposit on, on the 3rd of August as well. Now, interestingly, that's matched exactly with something Shopify has synced over, and that's for two reasons. One is, is that our credit card payment provider deposits gross and then takes the fee out at the end of the month. Depending on who you use for your credit card uh, provider, that may or may not be the case. For example, Stripe deposits net of fees, so it would be similar to the afterpay example I've showed you. Secondly, um, you will not get a green match if your credit card provider is depositing for more than one sale. So if you've got a credit card deposit that comprises of five sales, you won't get a green match here. You'd have to click on match and then find the credit card sales for that particular day uh, and tick them all on and then you would get a match. Now in this instance, we do have a green match because it's just the one sale on both sides. So all we have to do here is press OK and that's the credit card dealt with. And again, if we come then back to our reconciliation report and we look to see what's in outstanding receipts now, you can see we've resolved all of our issues and they're all gone. Right, let's move over to PayPal. So on the PayPal side, uh, the PayPal feed, if, if, you, if you link it up in zero to make it automatic, it actually comes in gross with the, the fee as a separate feed, which is really, really helpful with um, with the Zero Shopify sync. So you should be able to get green matches on every single sale where a customer has used PayPal as a payment method. And if this was a live example, you wouldn't see customer one over here, you'd see, for example, John Smith. And again, on the right hand side, you would also see John Smith, because if you're in an environment where you sell something with, with the same price over and over again, you want to make sure you're matching the correct customer name with the correct synced integration bank feed. And you can see here, Zero has attempted to match this for us, but it's also said there may be another one that is the correct match. And it will, it will list all instances of that particular payment amount here for you to just make sure that you're syncing with the correct item. And you would be doing that based on matching the customer's name. 
then you would say OK. And again, with customer two, you can see now here it doesn't say one possible match because now it only has one match and you would say OK here as well. And then you're just left to deal with your PayPal uh, merchant fees. And the best way to deal with those is just to put in a, a bank rule. I'll take you through that very, very quickly. The bank rules are used for repetitive situations where you have no third party document to match them against. So if you look here, you can see spend money rule. I like to set um, my, my rules up as, as follows. Any text field contains and then the word that you want to uh, you want to make sure it's consistent but unique, if that makes sense. So it's looking for the, this set of words, but you wouldn't see that same set of words in any other type of feed that comes into the bank account. So you might use something like fee customer. The contact will be, I would generally just make it PayPal. The description would be PayPal merchant fee. The account you want to code to, you may have a special account set up, but for now we'll just use bank fees. PayPal fees are still GST free in Australia. Uh, the reference will be, it's up to you. You can set it yourself or you can just say from the description, which would be my preference. Run this rule on just the PayPal account and give this rule a title. We'll call that PayPal fee. And once that rule's been set up, it's a set and forget. You don't then have to worry about uh, coding it every single time. Um, it's just just the once, and then you can click OK or OK. But a little hot tip on the PayPal fees, if you're a heavy environment, you may have 10 or 20 of these a day to code. So what you can also do is go over to Cache Coding, and you can see them all here, and you can see they're all pre-populated because you've got a rule in place, and you can tick them all on at once, and then you can save and reconcile selected. So that was a really quick summary of how the Shopify and Bold app work and how you code down uh, the sync that comes from the Bold app via Shopify into Xero. As mentioned, uh, we're cloud counting, we're tax agents, bookkeepers, and Xero trainers in Brisbane. We do offer remote training sessions and we only work with e-commerce clients. So we understand the software you're using very, very well. Please reach out, give us a call. You can find us at cloudcounting.com.au or you can ring us on our mobile, which is 04266256683. I'll just pull up the website to show you here. And you can, you know, jump here at any time to make contact with us and you can see that, that we're absolutely focused solely on e-commerce. Great. Hope uh, your Shopify and Zero Sync gets set up properly and um, have a little bit of fun with it as well. Take care. Bye.